if you want a fast ignition on your flintlock rifle, it does matter how much sparks and how hot sparks you have. These things are depending on many factors. The quality and the hardening of the steel, the curve of the steel, the tension of the mainspring and the spring of the frizzen, the place and size of the touch hole, the quality of your priming powder, the cleanness of the steel and the stone, and the sharpness of the stone. Today I'm going to show you how to properly clean the edges of the stone and the frizzen and how to sharpen the stone. For managing your flintlock you will need a few basic items. First one, a flask of alcohol, a frizzing cover, a brass rod for sharpening the flint, a small screwdriver, a pin for cleaning the touch hole, a small broom, your pen primer, a small rag, and a hammer or your starter. To clean the stone and the frizzen, first put the hammer in half cock position, then clean the face of the frizzen, and clean both sides of the stone. Before sharpening the flint, Put the hammer into half cock position, open the frizzen, use the small broom to remove all the priming powder from the pan, put the pin into the touch hole to obstruct it and only then you can start to sharpen the flint. You can see a new and a worn stone here. If you check the edges, you can clearly see the difference. The edge of this stone should be straight and should be sharp. And these are the parts that have to remove with the brass rod. The tool we are going to use for sharpening the, the flint is a small brass rod. It is about 7 cm long and 4 mm in diameter. Check the form of the end. It is important to have it from brass because if it's from iron or from steel, it can generate sparks on the flint and can cause accidental discharge. Put the brass rod on the edge of the flint and tap it with your hammer or with your starter removing small flakes of flint. Do this until you remove all the round edges, so you can only have sharp, very sharp edges. And there you have nice hot sparks. <laughs> 